Yeah, uh, Deepika, you can start. Okay. So, what are the uh, pain points or the um, negatives you see when you use AI Explorer? Like the challenges you face while uh, using the Explorer? And Deepika, maybe you can give some examples of kind of feedback that you have received from Hi. others. That okay. way people can start commenting. So uh, we got uh, bunch of, uh, some responses uh, through the survey form we shared on LinkedIn. So some of the responses for this question was user management uh, to integrate uh, with running network, setting uh, the explorer, and uh, the responsiveness of our UI. So these were some of the responses we got. So is there anything else you guys face during using the explorer? Maybe I can start. So, um, Deepika, I think I um, told you a few things, right? Hi. Currently, the, the, the um, user management aspect is difficult with Explorer, right? Anytime um, um, we need to do, let's say, reconfigure a uh, new Fabric instance, then I will have to restart the Explorer. And um, ideally, the way I would like to have Explorer is I will host Explorer somewhere in my environment, let's say in my enterprise setup. And I should be able to point my Explorer at runtime uh, by supplying the connection profile information or the connection, um, yeah, that's the way Fabric operates, right? I should be able to supply connection profile information uh, dynamically, and I should be able to manage which network I want to see. Uh, details about. Um, if you see Grafana, right? In Grafana, there is an option to see different dashboards and somebody can create a new dashboard at runtime. It allows us to like dynamically create new graphs and, and uh, create a dashboard out of that set of graphs in one page. And then I can keep browsing across those dashboards. Depending on what the need is, I can switch between them. But um, explorers, even though the idea and the design, initial design was like that, but right now it is all statically and manually configured. There is no such option where we can go and say, here is a new connection profile for the new network. I want to connect to that network as well from the current running instance of explorer. So um, I think this goes into that multi-tenancy aspect of explorer. Okay. Anyone else? Maybe uh, CPU related something that uh, activity set, if that comes, that is also better for uh, people to monitor. Okay. Uh, from my side, Deepika, I feel like, uh, you know, uh, as we have not like tested the performance rigorously, uh, I'm wondering if there is like with larger data sets, how would our Explorer application will work? I didn't so, get that, Achana, can you? Uh -huh. So it is basically more mm -hmm. technical. Than, <laughs> like we have huge data, right? Uh, so how would our Explorer application um, fetch the data and populate to the UI? That is, we need to test. <laughs> basically the responsiveness of the application, mm -hmm. that's what she's expecting. Okay, okay. And um, I would like to actually have a visual representation of my network setup, right? Um, like a like a graph or, or not a graph, 
um, like a picture which shows here are the nodes and these are the nodes which are connecting to each other through this channel and here is another channel that exists in the network and these are the nodes which are online or offline and this is the minimum information about each node which captures at least the endpoint the msp id uh, such information a visual representation of how the network layout is structured and maybe optionally show which smart contracts exist on those peers and maybe like those uh, smart contracts are tied to a specific channel okay And uh, maybe like an audit log of what's happening across my network. This could be information such as a new channel was created, or maybe a new chain code was deployed on this node, or it could be a new version is available. Such information about uh, what's happening in the network, like latest happenings in a network. Okay. And having said that latest happenings, I feel like one more information that currently does not exist anywhere is, uh, I feel like Explorer is the right place to do that. I don't know if there is a place where we fetch current policies and display those policies to user. Um, I know there are like CLI option, command line options, but there is no central place where we can download the configuration, current configuration. I feel uh, in the channels section of Explorer, where we can, instead of, along with showing the channels, we could also let users uh, view the current policies that is configured on the channel. Similarly, on the chain code or the smart contract side, we can let them um, view information of what's the latest sequence that was committed. And maybe the package ID that it corresponds to. Okay. Explorer should give like state information of what's there on the blockchain without having to run any commands. So this this kind of information will help. Okay. So uh, in the survey form, we got some, uh, like, we asked the question, like, what are the features you would like to add? And we got, uh, like, uh, features like column filtering and uh, the visualization of data provenance, etc. So is there anything else uh, you guys wish to add? Can you come again, uh, Dirga, with the question? Uh, so uh, we had another question, like, uh, are there any features they would like to add? So we got, uh, like, uh, column filtering and uh, the visualization of data provenance, etc. So is there anything, something similar to that you guys wish to have in Explorer? Maybe additional metrics, one thing we can add. And how about support for different database apart from Postgres? 
or maybe like create an interface and let people write their own database integration layer if they have their own choice of database then decouple uh, any dependency in the code any hard coding in the code with interfaces so that people can bring in their own database Is there a, so is there a way we get um, like warnings from a deployed blockchain networks? And when I say warnings, these warnings would tell us that something is going wrong in the network or some action is pending on somebody which they have not taken for a long time. I'm trying to think of an example. Oh, okay. One example from a fabric standpoint could be some organization initiated a new in sequence for the chain code. They expect everyone else to take an action. Now there is no standard way of telling this, right? Fabric tells us that we do this out of the bank. We go to them, we tell them they need to upgrade. I don't know if Explorer can help in those cases by notifying saying that here is an alert or a warning that's uh, and that's because somebody has done some action on the at the network level because explorer gets visibility at the network level i don't know if such things matter to us maybe that's a beneficial feature yeah in, in addition to that i want more like uh, the certificates also right like uh, uh by default some one year validity something like validity when it's going to expire right even those things also if something we can alert that is also one feature we can add because as of now and the web fabric unless it is going to expire right will not have any alert i think that's all. only after expiring only we are not able to connect to network and we're getting issues right agree So Deepika, I think that means like we need to have an alerting mechanism in Explorer and a way to use that alerting mechanism from multiple means. Those alerts could be from different places. We need a way to tie those back to those specific sections. Okay, okay. Any other questions, Deepika? Uh, so I was thinking to ask them about the uh, response we got regarding the UI, which can be like the Firefly UI. So, uh, so yes, Verma, you can. Yes, actually, I was the one that added that the Firefly. I noticed the blockchain and it was looking very good. And uh, I think there are also the nodes that uh, Arun or Rajin, uh, they said, uh, like the nodes display or something. Uh, they actually have uh, a fix in the Firefly, uh, the GitHub. So I was thinking something like that, the dark mode and everything looks better. So I was just trying to give an idea that uh, it would look better if we have something like that only for the visuals
that's it that's it okay mama we will be having like i will be having a meet with firefly ui design team and we will look into that uh i don't that's it i have got and covered the questions awesome thanks tipika if this feedback will help you in your discovery and um, looking forward to have a new user experience design for the explorer tool and as i said like the design that you do will impact um, the entire world and people are looking forward to use explorer so uh, the way people see explorer is through your lens so the way you design um, impacts in a big way so looking forward to it anything else from anybody else that we will have to discuss um i will recap the action items that have been token so far at least on my part um one is to test the pending aditya spr and for the helm chart um, archana you said you will follow up and then our goal is to merge it um, with comments saying that it is not production ready at least on the helm chart and while we continue improving the helm chart production ready helm chart we will for now release whatever we have and uh, the second thing is about the copyright we'll have to check uh, with the foundation if we can add any copyright statements at the bottom and the third question is about that i'll follow up with manoj and varma uh, to debug the release script issue that uh, varma spoke about uh, the next one is action item that manoj will take up to do a sonar cube fix so that we don't do a sonar cube scan for every pr but we rather do it after the merge manoj will prioritize this before the release and if there are any questions he will reach out to uh, to the team and the next action item is to start using container uh, registry in this goes back to the first point that we had it was to check make sure that the pr that aditya has raised works fine anything else that i missed i know there was one more action item on me that is still long due this was related to the user uh, access and the the iam integration i could not find time so far we'll keep that open yeah sure the other one on the ipolitical form submission that we'll do tomorrow perfect and the release activities i think for release we took down four step process starting with the the uh, labs proposal that you just mentioned and then we do a release and then we do a presentation to the tuc then we request them to make it a top level project anything else from anybody else achana uh, anything is mm, uh, uh, sorry sir i just uh, I, i need to just cross it around uh, this uh, sonar uh, thing so is this uh, same as issue for two or i'm sorry which issue uh 426 uh, you are yeah. asking about github issue 426 yeah i think yeah. That, that's the same issue okay that's yeah manoj current issue anything uh, your stack or you are able to proceed uh, manoj what is the status uh so i so last week i had a call with uh, archana and uh, varma so mm -hmm. they gave some uh, uh, good idea about this uh, sync services and uh, database services so 
uh, and I was looking into that issue number uh, uh, 393, which is that boot time loading. So currently I was just understanding uh, how the uh, like uh, series, series is happening, pressing service. Uh, and I was about to start uh, like uh, implementing the approach which, uh, in order to uh, rectify that. And uh, yeah, that's it. Do you need any inputs or you'll be able to proceed, uh, Manoj? Uh, as of now, no inputs is required. Yeah, so yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. All the things uh, were explained by Hachana and Varma on the uh, okay. KD course. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thanks, Manoj. Please let us know if you need any information. Otherwise, you can proceed with the fixing those two changes. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, as uh, Arun mentioned, I'll just uh, pray, prioritize mm. this uh, mm -hmm. Sure, sure. Mm. Awesome. I think one thing that I forgot to mention in the summary is about the maintainers.md file that we called out, apart from the release related PR that uh, Varma was working on. I believe Varma will, will take care of that. Uh, whom should I add in the maintenance actually? Will you give a list? Um, Archana, do you have a list from Infosys team with names to be added there? Um, yeah, I will give it to Arunat. I'll check with Arunat. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. That day you have added mind with and I'll give it. I think okay. I can also add right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I added Archana as an administrator to the project. So she has more access than the maintainers right now. Mm -hmm. and, um, so I think only Archana and I have that admin access as of now. And if needed, Satya, uh, feel free to uh, let us know. We can add more members as needed. Okay, okay. Yeah, sure, sure. And around for that issue, first I'll check the why it is causing the issue, but uh, we'll connect tomorrow sometime. Yes, we can coordinate on the uh, Discord. I think I have your Discord ID. Archana shared that with me sometime okay. back. I'll also ping you there, but uh, first I want to check it myself. Uh, so if I can find it, then it's good. Okay, sounds good to me. Oh, anything else? No, on that time. No, 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 Right. Thanks, all. Yeah, thank you all for attending. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone.